All right, so in this video, we're going to be doing some mod testing, not necessarily a review of any of the mods. Just testing what mods are good for, well, the ones I found that were, that were good for um, auto-loading of pallets or goods in general. Well, pallets, not goods in general. So basically, they all auto-load, right? We have that small trailer here, this big truck right here. Well, the trailer, not the truck. Those two wagons over there and an IT runner platform. So I'm going to take a look at each one and um, give you a breakdown of each. Nothing too in-depth. Like I'm not going to go through the features of it. I'm going to go through basically, well, the when I say features, I mean each detail and, you know, like what colors and all that. It's just the functionality and what they hold basically is what I'm going for. So first up, we have this pack here. So this one right here is the, um, where is it? The platform auto load, and this is by Raleigh Christie One and VSR Modding. So basically, this pack here has both of these trailers. One, as you can see, only carry like seeds, solid fertilizer, wheat, stuff like that. The other one carries everything, finished products, all that kind of stuff, right? The major differences between both is the functionality all right so this one is the, the the trailer first this one already has pallets built in this one can carry basically every product in the game currently we have some wheat in there i'm gonna unload the wheat but this is the part of it that i like let me turn the tractor on now if you pull up to a certain point You can see the pallets auto load themselves. Let me see if I can drop this off there. There you go. They start unloading itself. That is an amazing feature for me. That's a fully auto loading trailer right there. I like that because um, one, I'm lazy. Two, you actually get better productivity. Well, not better productivity, but for someone like me that most of the time have like thousand other things doing there's certain parts of the game that i want to do quickly and there's certain parts of the game that i can't do quick quickly this allows me to do pallet loading and unloading rather quickly all right so the next one is the trailer version to this now like i said this one takes solid fertilizer it takes um wheat and stuff like that let me just go ahead and confirm that's what it does yeah there you go so solid fertilizer lime pig food seeds stuff like that right this one does not have as far as i could find let's go back in there really quickly so for the first one in the settings that's what you get right general products lizard blah 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 stuff like that second one you get solid fertilizer mineral feed it, it gives you basically what it has none of them has has options for auto loading on or off turn that off really quick disconnect so I was just checking to see if um, there was any option to load our uh, um, auto load on or off for this it does not have that option and there's like a kind of sweet spot for the, the trailer to um, auto load. Let me see if I can get it to do it. Not necessarily on there, but to the side right there is the sweet spot. So let me pull forward and finish the loading of this. Let me pull around to one of these on the side and I'll give you a better example.
there you go so that spot right there is the ideal spot so let me go ahead and unload well put the trailer down as you can see when it's down by itself it has a better loading position so i'm guessing if you have a like a factory and you have um a point a spawn point for the items you could place this beside that spawn point and it should load by itself like i said this one here does not have an auto load feature and none of these mods that i'm testing right now can carry multiple products at the same time that's one of the things i was trying to figure out then i realized console doesn't have that availability or flexibility so let me just show you how this one works as well it really feels like any regular trailer you just have to push the left joystick in and do that each time for each bag and that's how that one works all right next one up is the um auto load itr this one is by er shaba this one acts like that trailer over there with the pallets on the back with the pallet pack on the back where me um, attach to this really quickly extend arm while that's doing its thing if you notice there are red and white points on that thing what i've learned and I, it could just be me or you know me how i've tested it i guess let me start loading the container All right, so what I've learned is the con the flatbed or the, the back of this thing or whatever you want to call it loads when those pallets are in that in proximity to that red and white marker on the back. Let me go ahead and come forward and drop container off. So if you look at it, it starts loading already there you go it's auto loading on its own because the items are by that that um red and white point so again if you had a factory you could place that by the factory and um it would auto load items for you all right so now this one is the pallet auto load trailer by adams kong and this one has a similar feature. The difference with this one is you can turn auto loading on and off by pressing LB and A and cycle through whether you want it on or off. This one is, um, based on what it said, I do believe it also takes everything. So let's go ahead and test that out right now. I was not able to find a, um, a precise load point for this one. Let me test it out on the items I have over here, here which is, uh, I believe, manure. So auto loading is on. Currently, it's not loading, right? Can't get it to load. Let me see if I detach. That makes a difference. doesn't seem to but yeah that's one of the, the things i was trying to figure out with this one is where the actual marker is for it to auto load let's see something here let's close the curtain i don't think that has anything to do with it but let's just see curtain right front curtain right back okay so it's still on the same side let's see if this is the side it will load from now but i could not find the precise point at one point i was actually running over items and then that's how it would auto load
This is TMR. Maybe it can't do TMR, so let's try a different product. Yeah, TMR is not in that list. I know fertilizer is, so let's test it on the fertilizer. See, I told you it would probably most likely be me. That's the issue and not the, the actual spawn point. All right. Um, this is... That's wheat, which I'm sure I saw in the options a while ago. Yeah, wheat is in the options. So we go ahead and check if auto load is on because it should be on. It was not on. Cool beans. All right. So yeah, it auto loads on the side just like that. Let us unload it. So we unloaded it and it started on uh, loading itself immediately. All right, so we know that one works. Uh, let's turn off auto load and then unload the trailer once more. Let's do the same and try this for solid fertilizer over here. doesn't take solid fertilizer either so again actually it should take solid fertilizer let's see okay that's what the icon looks like with the little leaf on it Yeah, it, it should take solid fertilizer. So what it seems like is it it might be because it's the big bugs. So let us test that theory out. All right, so we have some pallets here. Let's see if it will pick it up. Yep, picks it up. And it's at that, that point right there in the back or so. So it was probably because it was pallets why it wouldn't pick it up. So it seems to be that sweet spot right there just by that just by the rear wheel but the front part of that rear wheel so that's one two three the third one where you can see the pallet blocking right now let's pull up some more yeah that's that seems to be the sweet spot right there all right so we know that works so let's continue testing these because there's one more thing that i want to test with it one another um trailer i have to test and then one thing i want to test with the trailers all right so this one i believe is the lizard rumbler van pack is where it comes from which is this item here it takes everything in the game as well it has a few options it has discharge manual and automatic this is one of the things i want to test out you can have fillable pallets or you can have fillable tanks then bread planks all the the manufactured items as well as honey and stuff like that right so that's how that one works so let me go ahead and get this filled up and get to testing what i want to test now this one does not have an option to um auto load 
like the others do where you can just pull up to the pallet and load it however you want that one does not have that option so let me go ahead and do uh we use a basic in-game one night let's do pig food all right so fill it up now as you saw in the menu it has a uh, an auto unload option right which i think that means if you go up to a cell point that has it or anywhere that takes where you're carrying it unloads it automatically like it just did so that's that's what i wanted to test so let me go ahead and try that with the rest of these because i don't think those ones the other ones we did have that feature so let me just go ahead and check that really quickly Actually, I take that back. It does have the feature. If we... Yeah, it does. So this truck has that feature as well. Let's try the... Let's try this one. See if this has that feature. Maybe I wasn't under the cell point good enough. All right, so that one does not have that feature. Let's grab the other trailer from it, see if it has that feature, it has the auto offloading feature. doesn't seem this one doesn't seem to have that feature either last one to test is the itr yep it has the auto offloading feature All right, so that basically, guys, is the test of the auto pallet loaders or auto loading pallet trucks, trailers, anything you want to call it. If you guys did like the video, please go ahead and hit the like button. If you want to stay up to date with what's going on, please go ahead and subscribe. If you guys want to be notified every time I post a video, hit the bell beside the subscribe button. If you have any tips, comments, suggestions, please go ahead and leave them below and I'll get back to each and every one of you guys. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for your support.